What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Magic the Gathering Arena video. This is a draft that I've been doing. If you haven't seen the previous video, go back and watch it, because I run through the first six wins of this draft um, run, and you're going to want to watch that before you watch this, unless you just want to watch this, because I'm either going to fail miserably and lose two more times, or I'm going to reign victorious, win another game, and get a seven-win draft, which would be really great, because I get two packs. So, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. If you want to see more Magic the Gathering Arena videos, go down, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, go follow me on Twitter, at Clayton Hamrick, because I'll be tweeting out when I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, and that is a way to get notified. Also, if you want to go over to Twitch, that is going to be down in the description below, my Twitch handle. If you want to go follow me there, I'll be streaming Magic the Gathering, maybe some other games, soon. Probably Monday and Wednesdays. That's not set in stone yet. But, with that being said, Let's get into the game. Let's see if we can get the seventh win, or let's see if our dreams are crushed and we get two more losses. Let's get into it. So, if this is the first video you're watching and you didn't watch the draft, or you didn't watch the gameplay video of the first six wins, I'm playing a pretty sweet Demir deck. Um, I've not got a lot of removal, but I've got decent threats. And I've been able to get six wins with it, and really hope to get my seventh. So wish me luck. Here I go. Hopefully we get, hopefully we get a an opponent who draws no lands and concedes immediately. That would make for a short video, but it would make for a happy me because I need the packs. I need the gems. I need the gym so I can do more drafts. Ready. We're playing against Bedaedalus. Bedaedalus. Hello, Bedaedalus. What kind of deck do you have for us here? Okay, what do I have here? I like the I like the disinformation campaign. I'm gonna keep this hand. It's kind of slow, but I have a little bit of room to be greedy. And I'm on the draw. I could draw. I could draw a two drop. I'm gonna keep it. Opponent. Okay, he mulliganed. That's very good for us. We've played against so many white decks. I don't guess I can complain too much because we've been winning, so. Not bad. When when they iron shell beetle, just as a two-two, you're happy. Because that means that they didn't put it on a healer's hawk and beat you in the face with it. No turn three play. Well, you're about to get disinformed. And he's on a mulligan. And I've got a Whisper Agent to pick this thing back up. Yes, please. Pass. Oh, man. Is this a free win for my seventh win? Yes. I think it is. I'm probably going to go ahead and trade with this Iron Shell Beetle. It's the only thing he's got to pressure me with. I've been using Whisper Agent mostly as a removal spell in this deck anyways, because I'm pretty light on removal. So I don't mind taking this trade here. Especially since I'm on three cards, I really want to pick up a disinformation campaign. So I'm gonna go Thoughtbound Phantasm. Disinformation campaign. I guess I should have did that in the opposite order, but it's not really going to punish me here. Yeah, he can't cast his big dudes. I 
Yeah, I'll take it. If I can grow this phantasm once, I'm feeling pretty good. Is it time to start pressuring him? Probably so. So I'm gonna go bars and bats. And as surveillance, next turn I'm probably gonna keep up the center for sabotage. Because he's getting up in mana. Um, also want to pick up my disinformation campaign. Okay, okay. So what I'm going to be able to do here is play this and then have a center sabotage in order to, to hopefully turn on the death touch. Um, maybe block the... I mean, I, might not, I might not even block it, but... I guess we need to start racing here. I don't think I need to cast the Severed Strands yet, especially I just want to keep up this center sabotage. Do I let that go? I have a Mephitic Vapors in my deck. So I'm actually going to let that go. I'm going to take three here. I really want to draw a... Well, that's not one. Um, a Surreal card. So I would like to be able to turn on this Dark Blood Agent without having to counter a spell. I mean, I'm pulling pretty greedy here, but what are you going to do? What do I do here? Do I keep taking three? What am I going to do? I'm being super greedy. Like, if I get my dreams crushed and don't get the seventh win, I'm going to be kind of mad. So I counter any play that he does. Anything. One drop, two drop, eight drop. Counter it. Yep. So I'm gonna grow my phantasm. Look at a lot of cards. Pick up my disinformation campaign. Oh yes. Sometimes it pays off to be greedy. I'm really looking for that in the fitting vapors. Yep, do that. Make him discard. If they visit the pack beast, get a counter here. We'll go look at four cards. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the island. Keep the night boss right on top. Yeah, we're gonna keep it like that. We're gonna keep it like that. Back to the hand. Yeah, go ahead and concede for me, man. Combat. Attack. I still gotta be safe. Only attack with this guy. That's not good. I think I'm good. I don't know. He could like blow me out right here really hard. Watch. He's gonna like buff his whole team. Oh man. He's hitting me. F he got it. I was so greedy in that game. Oh, he doesn't technically have it, but. Here. So friends.
play. This is for Majin Kanda. Draw. Why is that it? I have five mana left. Two more plays. Double Night Bell Spray. Night Bell Spray. Go combat. Attack. So. If all goes well. Please just be a land. I can just block block, attack for five. Dang it. Can attack with a power buff. Okay. Block. One to two. My turn. I attack first. Dudes. If I find Mephitic Vapors, I win the game. This guy, this guy. What is the campaign? Draw the blade crafter. Play the blade crafter. Sacrifice on that right? And have lethal on board. I'm gonna play this too. Yeah, so I don't know how he wins here. Cause I can just quasi duplicate my plate crafter. Yep. Good game, dude. I'm so happy that I got that seven, seven and one victory in the draft. Got my packs. Got my gems. Allowed me to draft again. So I'm gonna claim my prize. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we're gonna open these packs real quick. I got another pack uh, during that draft for doing like the weekly challenges or whatever. So, let's open some packs. Our first rare is Mausoleum Secrets. I think this has a decent chance of working somewhere. I have it in the commander deck that I have and it, it does work. Number two. Nice. I eventually want to build a Divine Visitation deck in Sandard or something, so glad to have it. It's a mythic. Pretty sweet. And for our last and final rare. Oh, we already had four of those, so it's whatever. It's not that great. Well, I got the 7-1. Happy about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys enjoy watching me play Magic, if you guys enjoyed my commentary on the game, Make sure to go down there, hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be posting more videos just like this. And if you'll go follow me on Twitter, I'm going to tweet out when I post videos. I'm going to tweet out when I am streaming on Twitch. So you can go over there and watch me. Also, in the description, there is a link to my Twitch. If you want to go give me a follow there and watch me when I'm live. Don't know when the schedule is quite yet. But if you follow me, you will be notified. So, if you like the video... Leave a like. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. And if you have anything to say, then, you know, there's a little comment section down below that you can write out what you have to say. Hope you enjoyed the video, and 
I will see you guys in the next one.